So guys recently there are many people who are asking me and that is should we wait for the iPhone 9 or buy the existing iPhone okay many people are confused that should we go for the iPhone 10R because it is less expensive the pricing is getting reduced very drastically and overall should we wait for this smartphone so guys iPhone 9 is the primary focus by Apple to give a chance to the old iPhone users to upgrade their smartphone okay there are still people using the iPhone 6 and 6s which are working pretty good but Apple wants to provide a new upgrade option and that is what the iPhone 9 is for and guys many people want to enter the iOS ecosystem wants to buy their first iOS smartphone and hence they're waiting for this iPhone so guys first of all let me make one thing clear and that is the iPhone 9 is going to be a mid cycle refresh okay Apple is going to be swapping few parts in and out of the iPhone 8 and just giving it a new upgrade okay the main primary focus behind the iPhone 9 is going to be the camera and the battery life and the processor okay you're going to be getting an increased battery life than the iPhone 8 you're going to be getting latest Apple's processor which is the Apple's A13 bionic chip and you're going to be getting the same exact camera from the iPhone 11 okay the primary camera which is there in the iPhone 11 is going to be coming in the iPhone 9 so guys I also want to address this misconception that many people have and that is the latest product from Apple is always the greatest okay the lit it does not matter at all the iPhone 9 is going to be a mid-range smartphone okay it is going to be an upgrade for the old iPhone users and this doesn't mean that this is going to be the greatest okay this has the latest chip by Apple but this is not the phone that Apple calls flagship okay this is not something that will blow your minds off the iPhone iPhone 10R. Okay, it has the A12 Bionic chip, which is a generation earlier chip. Okay, it has a bigger display, and overall, I would say if you can afford the iPhone 10R after spending couple of more rupees or couple of more dollars, then definitely opt for the iPhone 10R. Okay, don't wait for the iPhone 9 because the iPhone 10R is a flagship level smartphone, and the flagship level smartphone you can buy for the span of three to four years. Okay, you will have no problem if you buy the iPhone 10R in 2020 and you can use it for two to three years itself. And the iPhone 9 is also going to be a great smartphone. And just I want to say, okay, the new OnePlus lineup is going to be coming. The OnePlus 8 Lite, the OnePlus 8, the, okay, like the Google Pixel 4a is going to be coming. The Samsung's Note 10 Lite is coming. So there is so many, there are so many smartphones which are coming very soon. And definitely you can use this idea and that is, waiting for the iPhone SE 2 to get launched okay in the month of March itself you will have the iPhone SE 2 the OnePlus 8 lineup the Google Pixel 4a and overall at that time you can easily imagine or just have your first hand look at the iPhone 9 and come to the conclusion okay the iPhone 9 is not the greatest smartphone by Apple but it is going to be the most affordable iPhone by Apple so guys I personally want to say to you and that is don't compare this phone with any other old iPhones or any other Android phone okay this iPhone is made with a purpose and that is to make an iPhone accessible to the people who cannot afford it okay just basically if you're planning to get the iPhone 10R the iPhone 10s the iPhone 11 then definitely opt for them and also if you're stuck between any other comparison like you are stuck between the OnePlus 7T if you want to buy and you have with you this alternative like the iPhone 9 then definitely it is up to you that which smartphone you want to buy okay if you're currently using an android smartphone then definitely guys buy a iphone next time and if you're currently using an iphone then buy an android smartphone because keep on switching between both of the ecosystems both of these ecosystems have their plus points and the negative points but overall both of the smartphones are great okay nowadays there is not a bad smartphone all of the smartphones are just greater in few key areas and this doesn't mean that the iphone 9 is lacking okay this is going to be having the primary camera of the iPhone 11 and overall with the latest processor it is going to be a great smartphone but the display of this smartphone is 
going to be very smaller enough so definitely i would say like go for the iphone 10r and again we have with us news regarding the iphone 9 plus which is going to be coming with a bigger display but we really don't know a lot about it but if you are stuck between the iphone 9 or any other smartphone i would say like if you have never used an iphone before that definitely the iphone 9 is an alternative okay and if you are stuck between any of the higher end smartphones then definitely i would say that just go for the higher end iphone lineup so if you have liked today's video in today's video i just wanted to make this thing clear and that is like always the latest and the greatest smartphone from a company is not the best and hope you have liked today's video if you have any other thing to discuss regarding this smartphone then definitely let me know in the comment section and hope you have liked today's video so guys if you like to stay updated from apple's ecosystem and android world then please consider subscribing to our channel as it motivates me a lot to bring you like this beautiful content so i will meet you with another beautiful video and till then peace